Never like kids. Did you know some of the video games have removed children as non-playable characters? Yes. When I say this, the GTA series, Mafia series, will come to your mind. Did you ever think why? Other than some of the racing and simulation games, most of the open world games out there include violence. So if they have children as NPCs in their games, and if they have things like child killing, it can affect very badly for their sales and ratings. So in this video, let's see how games have prevented these bad outcomes. We can see children in Cyberpunk 2077 wandering and playing. The game does not let us aim our weapons at them. When you try it, automatically the aim goes down. But you can still aim and shoot at other NPCs in the game. If you try shooting children from a distance, you'll get to know that they are invincible, too. I think you were thinking about not having children in Grand Theft Auto games. When compared to other open-world games, the GTA series is very violent. Gamers can use handguns, machine guns, shotguns, explosives, knives, snipers to kill targets. The game design of GTA emphasizes freedom, including the freedom to commit violence against anyone walking around. If players were able to subject children to that same violence, GTA would be even more controversial than it already is. It could be a huge negative point for the series if there were children. Sometimes, avoiding is the best solution. That's what Rockstar did regarding children in GTA Universe. Some games have included children as NPCs to give the player a real-world-like experience. Here in Horizon Zero Dawn the children are invincible and they do not react when the player is trying to harm them. Not only children, all the normal NPCs are invincible and do not react on it. On the other hand this will encourage the player to focus on the story and discourage the player from spending time with NPCs. Newts in Days Gone are adolescent children or teenagers infected with the Freaker virus. They appear to be ranging in age from 10 through 14. However, the topic we are talking about seems to be irrelevant for these type of children. Unlike GTA games Red Dead Redemption 2 has kids. But they are not very abundant. We can see bunch of kids during the mission, Joys of Civilization. Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff, and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. 
Come on! You new in town, mister? However, the kids in the streets cannot be harmed by the player. They are invincible and the player cannot shoot them. Do you think GTA 6 will have children as NPCs? Let's discuss in the comment section below. The Witcher 3 does not let the player to harm normal NPCs. When we try to hit children, it shows nothing but it shows some animations when we try to hit other NPCs. In Ghost Recon Wildlands you can shoot the children but they are invincible. Even though you can kill other civilians, it will fail the ongoing mission. Just like the previous examples, children in Assassin's Creed games are also protected by invincibility. But still, other NPCs can be harmed, but it will lead to desynchronization. There are some games we can beat kids too. But when considering this game to other games, it's not much violent as the others. So the game was rated as teen, which mean it is recommended the video game to those 13 plus.